Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Greetings from Bulgaria, I'm Volk. The embargo around The Witcher 3's second and final expansion called Blood and Line has been lifted. Since yesterday we received all kinds of news, updates, leaks and interesting information. After we got the teaser trailer and the release date, which is 31st of May, so very soon prepare to visit Tosan, we also have a chance to take a look at a bit of gameplay, learn about some of the many, and I mean many changes, and enjoy the introduction of several new features and mechanics. Some of those, and I will leave you links in the description to check a lot more detailed information in the form of articles, screenshots, pictures and so on. Blood and Wine will come with more than 30 hours of gameplay, including over 90 new quests, over 40 new points of interest, 14,000 lines of dialogue. For comparison, uh, Hearts of Stone had only 6,000. With this, of course, comes a significant improvement of the available armory. Geralt will have a chance to pick up or craft over a hundred individual armor pieces, including new Witcher sets with attached set bonuses for three and six pieces, crafted by a Grand Master, who will be unlockable with a quest chain. The user interface of the game has been significantly improved as well. On the screenshots we have a chance to see how much better CD Projekt Red is using the inventory's real estate, the visuals of the icons, items and tabs are a lot more pleasing and things just look better and more organized. The UI changes are mostly seen in the inventory, glossary, crafting window and the skill trees. Oh that's right, let's not forget to mention the brand new skill tree called Mutations, in which we are going to find 12 unique new abilities ordered in a tree form for Geralt to learn. The expansion is designed for level 34-35 to start with, but we know that with some skills, proper preparations and enough knowledge of your enemies, Geralt can take on an enemy much higher level than his current one. In case you want to, just like with uh, Hearts of Stone, CDPR is allowing you to create a brand new predefined level 35 Geralt and start the expansion right away. The next brand new feature to the expansion is uh, Geralt's own estate, where he can <laughs> grow old if he wants to, but he can also start working hard and upgrading to modify it. According to some rumors, there is over two hours of brand new music being recorded for Blood and Wine. Let's end the short preview with a new region players will be able to explore. Tosan has not yet been touched by the destruction that has taken Temeria and most of the northern kingdoms. No, here things seem to be going quietly and everyone is happy with absolutely nothing troubling the villagers living their simple lives. Well, that's not entirely true. Many new enemies and several tough boss encounters will surely make Geralt sweat through his teeth while clearing off the region and helping those in need to survive the new and growing dangers. That was it for now my friends, believe me, the amount of information is overwhelming and I now leave you to the aforementioned links where you will have a chance to learn a lot more about this new DLC as well as check out many new screenshots. I'm Vok. And I cannot even begin telling you how excited I am about Blood and Wine. 31st of May cannot come any sooner. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye bye.